Tria OS is a game which just went into its beta release. It allows anyone to make an FE2 style map with total freedom. However, you'll of course need to know how to make one. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a map in Tria OS using the basic map kit. The map kit link is in the description. Go to the model page and then get the model. Now, load into Roblox Studio and go to your toolbox. Then in the toolbox, go to the inventory tab and you'll see the map kit right there. Insert it into the studio place and then the map kit is right there. The spawn is where every player spawns into the map. The front is marked by a green side and when players spawn into the map, they face this side. It is recommended that when you place your spawn, you make it invisible to everyone. This can be done by changing its transparency to 1 and turning Kank Light off and then removing the surface GUI. There are two parts called Exit Region and Exit Block. The Exit Region is the part where when players touch it, they survive the map. The Exit Block parts will turn Kank Light on when the player reaches the exit. Both Exit Region and Exit Block need to have Kank Light off in order to make a map function, but can be resized and rotated. Buttons are a necessary component in almost every map. Players can only exit a map once all of the buttons are pressed. You can make your own button model or use the default one. A button model can be designed in any way, but they have to have a part called hitbox and a part called light. Buttons have to be named underscore button blank, the blank being the number of the button. For instance, underscore button one is the first button, underscore button 2 is the second button, and so forth. Buttons have to be named progressively. You can't skip a button number or have two buttons being the same number, or else it won't work. Group buttons are buttons where 50% of the alive players have to press a button before it's pressed. You can make a group button by inserting an empty string value with the name group. You can customize button locators by going into settings and then going to button. Disabled color is the color of the button and the locator when you don't have to press it yet. Enabled color is the color of the button and the locator when it's the next button you have to press. Enabled group color is the same thing as enabled color except with group buttons. Locator image is the image ID of the button locator and pressed color is the color of the button when it's been pressed. For locator image, there are four default locator images you can use in case you don't have the tools to make one yourself. These being default, classic, circle and square. Next to the buttons in the map kit, you can find some parts with values attached to them. These make parts do things without having to script them. Underscore fall makes a part unanchored, making it fall. Underscore show makes an invisible part appear and enables collision. Underscore height makes a visible part disappear and disables collision. Underscore destroy removes a part from the workspace. Underscore explode makes a part explode. And putting a number value called delay will delay of these values. You can set the value to how many seconds it's delayed after pressing a button. Just like with buttons, you need to put a number behind them to signify which button activates the value. Liquids are the primary thing people will escape from. To assign a part to be a liquid, make it can collide false and assign a state to it either using a string value with the name type, with its value being the state, or assigning a state using the script. There are three default water types, these being water with 8 oxygen being drained per second, acid with 30 oxygen being drained per second, and lava with instant death. Along with these default water types, 
You can also make custom water types in the liquids folder below settings. In the liquids folder you will find a configuration called custom. This is the name of the water type and below it are three values which will determine its behavior. In the liquids folder you will find a configuration called custom. This is the name of the water type and below it are three values which determine its behavior. Color is the color of the water type and it will change to this color when a liquid is set to this type. Oxygen depletion is the rate at which your oxygen drains per second. This means you can set it to a negative number so it gives you air in self draining it. Splash sound is the Roblox audio ID it plays when you enter or exit the water type. The air tank gives a player a certain amount of extra air when touched. The amount of air it gives is customizable by going into the air tank, then to hitbox, then change the oxygen value to the amount of air it should give. A wall jump is a part on which you can grab on and jump off of. To make a part a wall jump, insert an empty object value called underscore wall jump. A wall run acts very similar, however a wall run will also slide a player towards negative z direction, also known as the front. A player will not let go of a wall run until they jump off or reach the end of the wall run. To assign a part to be a wall run, insert a number value with the name wall run, the value being how fast the player travels across the wall run. The settings decide everything about the map such as difficulty, name and lighting. The lighting settings are fairly straightforward as these settings have the exact same names and do the exact same thing as the lighting properties in the workspace. Here's what the main settings do. Creator is where you put the name of the creators of the map. Difficulty is the difficulty of the map. 1 is easy, 2 is normal, 3 is hard, 4 is insane and 5 is extreme. Image is where you can put the image ID of the map thumbnail. Max time is the time a player can spend the map in seconds. The maximum value you can put is 420 aka 7 minutes. Music is where you can put the audio ID of the music of the map. Music volume is where you adjust the volume of the music. 1 is normal volume, 2 is double volume, 0.5 is half the volume, etc. A name is the name of the map. The script is what makes a map function and it is necessary to know the basic Trio OS script. Fortunately, you do not need that much scripting experience to learn how the map script works. Go to the map script and I'll show you what each of the lines do. Don't change this first line, as it gives functionality to the map script. This over here is a button function which activates the script below when the first button is pressed. This is the number of the button which will activate it and this is the end of the function. In between is what happens when the button is pressed. The script inside of the button function is what allows you to change a water's type. This determines which part gets its type changed. For instance, if you have a liquid in a model called liquids, to change this liquid state to water you have to put lip.map.liquids.liquid1 and then put the liquid type there. For the move part script, you need to use the same method to find a part and then put in how many studs in the xyz direction the part goes. To see xyz directions, Go into Roblox Studio's View tab and put on the View Selector. This is the script you use to make water rise and doors open. The fourth number is how many seconds it takes to move the part. You may notice that there's a move part and move part local. Move part makes parts move relative to the global XYZ coordinates and move part local makes parts move relative to local XYZ coordinates. This means that if you rotate a part, it will move at a different direction if it moves locally, but not if it moves globally. 
You can use wait to make these events happen at certain times, which you can use to sync your map to the music. There's also this function which makes the script wait until you've pressed a certain button. I'm not quite sure what you'll be able to use for it, but I'm sure you can come up with something. For map to function, you will need to have the settings, map script, exit region and spawn directly below the map model. This means if you model any of these or put them in a folder, your map will not work. To whitelist, go to Tria OS and go into the game. Then, go to the console and click on teleport to whitelisting place. Then when you're there, click on whitelist and put in the map ID, then click submit. A map ID is this specific number in the Roblox model, and for it to be whitelisted you have to turn allow copying on until it's whitelisted. After it's whitelisted, you can put in the map ID in Tria OS and play the map inside of the game.